Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, July 6th. This is for all signs. It's just a daily energy that I'm picking up on today. If you'd like to book a reading, you can find the information in the description below. I've also created a playlist of the daily vibes. I can't add all the, the past ones. I have added a few from the past, but you can see the ones that I've done recently. And the timing is fluid, so you might want to check that out. Well, there could be a message of love coming in. This is the Page of Cups. It says Princess of Cups. There could be, you know, this could be like Cupid. It could be like Cupid, you know, shooting its arrow, shooting his arrow your way. Oh, somebody has been feeling incomplete without love. Yeah, somebody has been. It feels as though there's, there's, you know, I like my independence, but I also want love, okay? So I feel as though there's an opportunity here coming in that could offer you a new beginning, but you may not want it, which is interesting. You know, because it feels like one chapter of your life, you're, you're being called to start a new phase, to start a new chapter, but it feels as though the last one hasn't completely ended yet. Something needs, one more step needs to happen with that wheel, with that world card reversed. There could be a choice between two people as well, just saying. Um, there's a feeling of, intense emotion intense feelings today you may be in your head yeah so now we have the two of cups reversed somebody is feeling like I'm not sure I, I don't know what I want I don't know if I want this this coupling I don't know if I want this relationship I don't even know if we're compatible so it feels as though somebody they want it but they don't I do but I don't I think there's one relationship that hasn't completely had its closure with that world card reversed. Interesting. Well, you know, something needs to end. It's it's reached rock bottom. What are you, why are you still holding on to it? All it does is bring conflict into your life if you're still looking at the past. If you're still looking at something that is dead then, you know, you haven't learned your lesson yet. You need to have faith and trust in the future. You need to believe in yourself. Well. <laughs> so... You know, it, it appears that, you know, somebody could be coming in to sweep you off your feet. And you're like, you know, I'm too wise. I'm too wise for this. You, you're you're, you're going to, Prince Charming has come rushing in to, to uh, sell me the, whatever, what is it, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. But the Golden Gate Bridge isn't for sale. So, what the heck is this? So, yeah. If somebody is afraid to love, afraid to open up their heart, uh, if I let you in, you're just going to hurt me. I think that's what's going to happen. If I let you in, I believe that you will just hurt me. What, what kind of tricks do you have up your sleeve? Are you being honest with me? I'm doing quite well on my own. My intuition, my inner guide is, is, is telling me that something is up here. Something is up. I feel like there's an opportunity. Somebody's coming in swiftly. 
I think they're coming in swiftly and they're coming in with a whole lot of charm rolling off their tongue and it seems to be a little shady, untrue, dishonest. You know, you're dealing with somebody who isn't thinking before they talk. They're just talking, talk, 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 talk. They're just spitting out whatever they gotta say. And you know, you've been through something drastic and you've, you've gained a lot of wisdom. You've gained a lot of wisdom through some sort of lesson that hasn't, I mean, yeah, it's been learned because she's wise. She's wisened right up. It's been learned, but, but you haven't quite stepped over the finish line back into love. So I feel like today is a day where you receive some offer or message from somebody that may want to connect with you, but it's not real. It's not the real deal. I mean, it's not. So I, I just have to throw that out there. This is for somebody. It's unreal. It's unreal. So just keep that in mind. This person may have been watching you for quite some time, or some, or you've been watching them. If you're, if you are. The other person, I don't know. There has been some sort of observation behind the scenes. They know that you've been hurt, whoever this person is, and they may think that you're vulnerable at this time. They may see your vulnerability and, and swoop right in. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I feel as though you are going to be called to listen to your gut on this situation. Okay, so if somebody comes swooping in with this, these uh, messages that are too good to be true trust your trust your intuition okay because they probably are too good to be true I feel like um, whoever this person is doesn't have good intentions they really don't they're probably looking for you know not a relationship put it that way okay they're not looking for a relationship they're they don't even they're thinking about themselves and themselves only so keep that in mind they're thinking about how it's going to benefit them all right, so just keep that in mind. I feel like you are doing quite well in your independence. You're probably very comfortable with where you're at, and you're seeing the situation clearly as it comes up. So I feel like this will happen to somebody. It'll be today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever. And you, your intuition is spot on with this situation. So if you have your guard up, there's a reason for that. Trust it, okay? I feel like there's been a a completion in your life that has made you wise. It has made you very, very wise and strong. And now it's like Even though this has happened, you haven't completely stepped over the finish line. You're still holding on to the last remnants of this. Okay? The world card is reversed. It's somebody hasn't completely closed that chapter. But the Queen of Cups is about basically handling this with grace. Handling this with self-love. Knowing what you're worth. Knowing what love is. I know what love is and I know what love is not. And I'm looking for something committed. I'm looking for a commitment here. And commitments don't rush. So I feel like there's somebody, somebody coming in that is charming is all get out. They see your vulnerability. They've probably been watching you either on social media, they've been watching your posts, or they've been watching your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever, or even from afar, somebody's been watching you, they see that you're vulnerable, they see that you're beautiful, they see that you're strong, and they come in to sweep you off your feet, and all it is is, is it's, a, it's a lie. 
okay? It's a lie. It doesn't lead to anything committed. It doesn't lead to a relationship, okay, with the Two of Cups reversed. So just keep that in mind. We are going to get some clarifiers, I suppose. We'll get three more cards. Yeah, the truth is coming out. The truth will get come out. I mean, this is somebody who is being dishonest in the truth. In the, and you know the truth. I think you know the truth about this situation. You can see right through it. I think that you can. There's a lack of confidence in this connection. There is. No passion here. Somebody is conceited. They have a big ego. And that's all it is. They want to feed their ego. It's like they got something to prove. But I think you're going to see right through it, you know. And this could be, this person who comes swooping in, could be swooping in on three other people. Look at the queens, okay. So they're just trying to get anybody at this time. Anybody that will, will appease. Keep that in mind. This person doesn't looking isn't looking for a relationship. Just saying. They're not. Two of Wands reversed. It's like indecisiveness. Yes, it is. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't know what they want. So be prepared if you receive a message out of the blue from somebody that is charming as all get out, that it's probably not true. It's probably not long term. It's probably not going to lead to a relationship. This person is only thinking about themselves. That's it. They're not thinking about if they're going to hurt you or... You know, having a future with you, they're not. They're not. They will only bring you backwards. Um, they may, they, they're going to swoop in, and then they're going to leave, okay? They have no staying power, none. So just, just keep that in mind. My best advice today is to follow your intuition with their high priestess on the bottom, too. Follow in the high, I was saying follow your intuition with, with, the, with the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant, but this is, a, this is clear. Okay, your intuition will tell you right away. So if you get this nudge that something isn't right, that this is too good to be true, trust it. Because it absolutely is too good to be true. I feel as though whoever this person is that is swooping in uh, to sweep you off your feet is, is totally... not being logical they're not they're not being honest they're not being truthful you know they're not they're not looking for a relationship they're looking for one thing and one thing only and it's not love oh so anyway i guess i'm going to stop with that one right there this is for somebody it will not resonate with everybody so you know i said at the beginning this is cupid i feel like this has changed from cupid to to uh a menace <laughs> okay you know it's somebody I mean if you look at these you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart it's only gonna hurt you in the end it's only gonna hurt you in the end so I'm not saying that I mean to not give a chance to love but in this situation there's no new beginning here there's no new chapter going to start with this person that is full of charm but has no follow-through okay your intuition will guide the way Okay, it will. It will only lead to betrayal. This person will only lead to betrayal. I mean, this is a message for somebody. I don't know who it is for. You know what? We're going to get another deck and we're going to try it again. See what comes up. One more message.
July 6. Somebody's not working hard enough towards finding happiness. Somebody's not putting in enough effort to follow their dreams, to find wish fulfillment. You have to work for it. Dreams just don't happen. Um, yeah, somebody is juggling, doing too much. Extremes back and forth, absolutely. Things are out of balance right now. There's extremes, up and down, temperamental, you know, um, lack of patience, chaos. Uh oh. <sighs> so yeah, there's consequences for not putting in effort. If you don't put in effort, then you're not gonna go anywhere. If you, it's all about the choices that you make. If you want happily ever after, if you want wish fulfillment and love, you have to take action. You have to do something about it. You need to stop juggling. You need to stop playing games. You need to see the light. You need to stop standing in in the ice. You know, this is the, on the thin ice. You need to stop staying in this darkness. You need to see the light. And, and part of seeing the light is, is allowing yourself to make compromises in your life you know sometimes you have to do things that are uncomfortable it feels like somebody is trying to escape reality i mean this is often the fake it till you make it card it's reversed you can't escape reality forever if you're looking for wish fulfillment if you're looking for happiness you have to take the steps to find that you have to date you have to put yourself out there so if so, this is for somebody that is single they want love yes i want love i want a relationship i want whatever you have to put yourself out there you have to let your friends help you. Maybe you have to go on a dating site. Maybe you have to go out and have fun. Maybe whatever. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't take any action, if you don't put in any effort, then you're not going to find wish fulfillment. You're not going to find that relationship that you're dreaming of. So somebody is not putting in effort to finding love, staying in a period of darkness, when the fact of the matter is, it's time for you to realize that you are light and it's time to see the light. This period of difficulty will end as soon as you take the next step and you manifest, you take action. This is about finding the resources and the power within you to take action, to step outside of your comfort zone. Stop staying trapped in a situation that's in your head. It's up to you. You have the power to bring success to your life. I did a reading for a, a sign last yesterday, okay? I'm not going to say who it was for. But it was a general reading, and somebody wrote, well, we need to have money to move on. You need to have money? You think somebody's going to give it to you? Do you? Get your ass out there and do something about it. You have the resources to do something about it. To that person that commented, I need money to move on, find a way to get the money. And I don't mean steal it, work for it. If you have to walk to work. Stop making excuses. If you want out of a situation, you have to find the resources to step outside of your comfort zone to find success in your life. You have to take the steps. If you're waiting for somebody to come in and give it to you, then you're in trouble. To find success, you need to be able to willing you need to be willing to change your ways. You need to be willing to change your path. You have to take the steps. You have the power. But nobody else does. Nobody is gonna fix it for you. You fix it. But if you're trying to escape the responsibilities, if you're trying to escape reality, if you're trying to wait for somebody to come in and fix it for you, then that ain't gonna work out. Excuses. No more excuses. If you want to come out of this period of difficulty, you need to take the steps. You need to be flexible. You need to be adaptable. You need to find your power. Okay? You do. So I feel this is a message for a whole different group, group of people. Somebody wants love or they're not in love with the current situation. They want to leave. 
they want to break up they want to get out of a situation so they can find their happiness but they're not they're not taking the they're not taking the steps that they need to take to do it so if you if you can't take the steps then you will live with the consequences of not taking those steps okay so this is here this card is saying step out of your comfort zone do it you need to do it you need to stop letting your your thoughts trap you you need to stop okay stop thinking that you can't stop stop being unreal you're not really stuck there you're not tightly bound walk away do whatever you gotta do somebody will write but it's not that easy no no it's not easy it's not one of the resources that is within you is strength courage discipline willpower self-love this magician is everything into one you have the resources you have to dig your ass down deep to find them to to find success in your life stop trying to escape and think somebody's gonna come in and fix it only one that can fix it is you you can free yourself if you take action If you don't take action, you're stuck. You will live with those consequences. And be unhappy. So anyway, I don't know who that message was for, but it was a strong one and it was for somebody. So that's what I have for today. God bless. Talk to you later.